we've been compiling and executing code by clicking the run button. There may be scenarios, however, where we want to compile code in the absence of an IDE. So if we don't have Visual Studio or Replit, for example, but we wanted to deploy code on a remote server or a cloud server, or even a remote high performance computing cluster. In such a scenario, we can compile and run code from the command line. The command line is this shell environment. For example, let's say we had the following four files. We had main.cpp, we had factorial.cpp, and print.cpp, all of which are being called by in the main file, and a header file function.h that declares the, the secondary functions that are going to be called by the main file. So we have factorial and print. These factorial exists in factorial.cpp and print exists and is defined in print.cpp. So let's say we had these four files, main.cpp, factorial.cpp, function.h, and print.cpp. We can go to the command line or the shell tab here in Replit and compile the code using the following command. And say clang plus plus minus seven, which is the compiler. You may also find in other systems it's called G++. So clang plus plus minus seven. We're going to define the name of the executable or the output file. The output file is dash o, is defined with dash o, then main. And we're going to define the input source files, which are vectorial.cpp, print.cpp, and main.cpp. Now if you run that, I'll get a new main file created. This is the main file. It's an executable file, which we can run from the command line. So we can run it from the command line using dot main. And it runs our code, and it prints out factorial of 7 is 5040. The same thing that would have printed out had we run this file from main.cpp. Now what you'll notice is that this domain file was created and it's listed here. If we take a look at it, it's a lot of unreadable characters because it's been compiled into a language that is understandable by the machine. 